Welcome to another Fast Tips Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Is your VBA editor loading slow? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you why, probably, and what to do about it. All right, if you're like me, you've got a pretty big database. My database is huge. I've been building it for 20 plus years, adding lots of stuff to it, hundreds of forms and reports and modules and stuff. And when I go to open the VBA editor, the first time, just the first time, it's super slow. Now I'm also loading it across the network. I've got a properly split database, of course, and the quote unquote access server sits on a different machine than my normal work workstation, right? So whenever I open the VBA editor, now I, I put a button up here on the quick launch toolbar to open the VBA editor, but it's the same whether you come into here, go to design view, and then go to, um, go to form design, hit the little candy over here to open up the code, right? But I put them up here. All right, so once I do this, now this one's gonna load up quick because this one's on my desktop, on my local machine. It's my small tech help uh, database. But this window, this VBA editor, can literally take 20, 30 seconds sometimes to load up if I'm loading my, my main database, right? So why is that? Well, the reason why is because every time you work with one of these form modules, report modules, or actual modules, it opens up this window, right? And if you are like me and you have them all maximized, you might not realize that there's a ton of these open in the background. And you can see that if you click this button here to restore the window and look, these are all open in the background, all of these. See them all back there? Yeah, I went and opened them all ahead of time. But you know, as you work on these and you don't explicitly close them, each time the VBA editor opens, it has to load each of these form modules and report modules and everything in the background. And that will slow down the VBA editor from loading. And if you got a few hundred of these like I do and you don't close them over time, uh, that all that happen. So how do you fix it? Well, you think there'd be a command up here, maybe window close all or something, but there's not. You can tile them, you can cascade them, you can do all kinds of stuff, but you can, there's no close commands. So you gotta close them by hand. You can do it with the mouse, or control F4 will also close these little windows inside the big window. That's a throwback from when all the applications used to have that MDI, right? The multiple document interface. Or you can just hold control F4 down and watch what happens. Whee! And they all go away. See that? Okay, now, if you close access now and come back in, and you go back in here, oh, they're all back again. What happened? Well, if you don't compile, if you don't do a debug compile once in a while, right? Um, the VBA editor keeps its state. So I can close down all of these and I can, you know, if you come back in without doing a debug compile, it, it, it's gonna save the state of the editor. So what you have to do is get it down to maybe one left, debug compile. And if you can't debug compile, you gotta make a change to one of your files somewhere. Maybe just hit like enter, okay? And then you can debug compile. All right, if you don't like that, put it back the way it was. Okay, now if I close down access, see this is open in the background because that was a form module, right? Save that one, right? Close it and now open her back up and go into here and you can see it saved the state because you got to do it after a debug compile. Okay, okay. But that will save you some time if you got a giant database like I do and it takes forever to load the VBA editor and it's, it's annoying every, you know, because you know me, I'm I'm like the auto mechanic that tinkers with his car constantly. I'm constantly tweaking my database. And so I'm always going into the VBA editor and it's super slow if I don't forget, if I don't remember to do that, close the windows down once in a while. Okay, so that's it for today. Nice short fast tip. That's why they call them fast tips. I know some of the fast tips I end up, they're not fast tips. I make the intro and I'm like, yeah, it's fast tip. And then it's 13 minutes long. That's not fast. Today it's fast. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it. So this is releasing publicly on December 26, 2024. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do a nice long tech help with an extended cut. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's going to be your tech help fast tip for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions manufacturing experts specializing in access and SQL Server, Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, 
and Amanda Nicole Consulting, specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an access database. You'll find links to the Diamond Sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members, Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. 
Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.